Hi, welcome to this quick run through for authenticating the Photum screensaver for the Roku devices onto your Google Photos account. So heading into screensavers, we can see we have the photo screensaver here. And if I select through to it, we can see that currently we have no source set up. And right now, if you try and run it, it complains and doesn't show anything. So within the settings, we've got the option to pick a cloud code, which is a general name for the code that you get from the website shown here, photomorph.j2.co.uk, and which gives you a um, token to whichever cloud provider you select. So today we're going to use um, Google Photos. Okay, so this is the photo of microsite and um, it's created just to allow you to easily log into your cloud provider account um, rather than doing it on your Roku device where it's much more difficult. So you can use this either on your desktop or on your mobile. Um, so today we're going to log on to Google Photos and we pick the account we need and we enter in the password. And then we are asking to grant access to your Google Photos library. So we can see it's asking to view and download. Um, no uploads, anything like that, just downloads. So we're going to allow that. And we get back a um, nine digit code that we're going to enter into the uh, Roku app uh, to transfer over the permissions. So we'll be head back there. Okay, so we're back at the Roku app. So now we're going to go into the cloud code option and we're going to enter the code we've just got ourselves from the Photomorph microsite. Oops, Daisy. Okay, and there we go. So we're updated. So now if we come back out to preview, so now we can see that we are authenticated, but we're not showing any pictures because we can't find an album named Photon. Um, we won't show any pictures other than from that particular album. Okay, so here we are back at my Google Photos account. So what we need to do now is create a photo album and add some pictures to it. So to do so, we go into the albums and hit create. We're going to add the name and then we need to add some pictures. Just put them all in there and hit done. And there we are, we have an album called Photon with some pictures in it. So now we can go see if it uh, pops up on the Roku device. Okay, just for one last time then, we're just going to run the preview on the screensaver one more time. And this time we will find the Photon album and pull down the pictures and um, show them on your TV. So um, thanks for watching today and we really hope you get uh, enjoy the Photon Roku app. Thank you very much.